Krass. Fighter 6! Alright, let me know if this shit's better silent. Yeah, let me go to fighting ground real quick. This shit sucks. Training. Training room. Alright, is it better silent? Hey, that drive can't that learning how to cancel. I just doing this tutorials actually did help me out for that. Is it better silent? Receive so, so much slower.
Oh yeah, I forgot to Yeah, Rashid's just so much slower with his punches. He's like really fucking slow. Typing. I asked you. I was like, "Is the shit good now?" You didn't say anything. Is it good or no? Well, if you're not complaining about it, I'm gonna take that as good then. You know what's funny is you can't hear what I got in the background noise. Uh, you can't hear what got in background noise, but uh, one of the people that were talking about XQC a while back and the whole, his whole like stance on React content and all that shit and how he doesn't give a fuck. It, it, this goes for like so many fucking big content creators and streamers in general. Nobody ever wants to just call him out and call him for what he is. He's a fucking moron. He's a dumbass. He, he like literally is a fucking moron. Just a rich moron. He never wants, uh, no one ever wants to call out. Like every big creator always tries to tiptoe around that shit. And they say some shit like, you know, he makes some, some bad, uh, takes. He, he might say some, some, uh, wrong things, but there's nothing wrong with him. You know, he, he's, he's a very, uh, intellectual guy. He's very smart. And I'm like, what? Like, are you, like, are you just scared? So you're like, call him out for what he is? A fucking buffoon? A, a fool? Like the man had, the man's like, got over a hundred million dollar deal. I don't, <laughs> I don't give a fuck about his feelings. Like who gives a shit? Just say for what it is. The guy has the worst track record known to mankind. He's an absolute asshole who doesn't really care about many people other than himself and select other individuals. But motherfuckers wanna sit there and tiptoe around that shit and say that he's like, Oh, uh, you know, I, I think I think he's just misunderstood. Maybe we didn't correctly understand what he was trying to say. Uh, you, you know, shit like that. I'm like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Well, that's what I mean. Like, he's he's in a lucky position. But you know, uh, it's always interesting. A lot of people sit there and try and always give him the benefit of the doubt. And I'm like, for what? What, what benefit of the doubt is there to give him? Versus. Like he's he's just a straight up asshole. He's a he's a dumb fuck. Like he is literally a dumbass. And people want to keep doing this whole situation where like man, you know people just aren't you know they're just not figuring it out. You know we're we're just you know like like I I just can't stand the amount of people who just want to tiptoe around shit and never actually want to really call them out. Like if a creator gets mad at you for calling them out because you did dumb shit, then you. Uh, in my opinion, you're soft as fuck. <laughs> like, who gives a fuck at the end of the day? What? So that their army doesn't bother you? If that creator has any balls, he'll sit and tell his own fan base not to go do that shit. You know, he released it to say he doesn't condone that shit. You can't do what on uh, Twitch 2 us. What, have fan bases go after someone else and talk shit or whatever? Oh, you can't talk bad about another streamer, really? <laughs> what? Oh, I mean, if you're critiquing someone, well, I guess if you call someone a fucking moron or dumbass. But. I don't know. I mean, motherfuckers on YouTube, the one that I'm watching right now, I'm talking about like people on YouTube videos when they make their videos or if they stream on YouTube, which is obviously rare. But the one I'm watching is a stream on YouTube. He was just saying, he's like, I think XQC is a very, you know, I don't think he's dumb. I think he's very smart. You know, he's like, I think XQG is a really good person. I was like, what? 
fuck you talking about? I was like, what? I was like, what Looney Tunes world are you living in? <laughs> I was like, no shot. I was like, no fucking shot. But it's whatever. I don't give a fuck. That's what it is. I'm, the, I'm a small time Andy anyway. If I ever got big anyway, who knows? There's probably a chance I would probably collab with him too. Just to take all his viewers, even though it wouldn't work anyway. But realistically, though, I feel like a lot of big creators are always afraid of. Uh, say anything to critique another streamer or a person or anything in general they don't want to sit there and be seen as hating or going against uh, another creator because then they'll get flooded with that creator's fans and shit like that i like how it's supposed to be a teenage mutant ninja turtles like event theme but the only thing they added was the song as a theme song Oh, it's like the. It's like a lot of people can't battle or something. Sure, I'll fight him like, if it works. Yeah, it looks like this battle ain't gonna happen. I guess I'm about to restart the game. Why is it even doing it? Yeah, let me close out of Steam and reopen Steam. I literally just played not long ago as Ivy. Mm. Oh fuck, I still gotta do that plan planet orbit whatever the fuck is called. Plan our orbits on Honkai before the event ends. I'll do it tomorrow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <coughs> right, let's try this again. Yeah, you plan on buying any of the Ninja Street Turtle costumes? <laughs> costumes? Well, you can get Dante, Michelangelo, Raphael. I forgot what the other one was. Why not? You telling me you can't afford a fifteen dollar costume? You're telling me you ain't got money for it or what? It's only fifteen dollars. Come on now. I'm sure you can afford it. You don't even use your avatar, so it's about the flex. It's about the flex, dog. Here comes a new challenger. Oh, you know what? The the scariest shit happened today. Welcome to the stream. I had a I had a wasp come into my living room. You don't you don't even want to know how much I, I shit myself.
How is it a skin? What's wrong with it? I don't see nothing wrong with it. You're bugging. You're, just, you're, you're tripping, dog. <laughs> Tripping dog, I don't know what you're seeing. Skin with normal to me. What the game came with. Rashid wins. Right, let me check something real quick. <coughs> Practice training. Training room. Rashid. The wind's always on my side. You are. Fucking ears hurt. Oh, and the bitches are so long. My ears hurt. Ah. Oh. Right, so that's how you. communication or I just literally played somebody here comes a new challenger no it's not my internet there's nothing wrong with it one no one one no one welcome to the stream play back What the fuck? What? Let us begin. Got him. Oh, I know they're so fucking mad. They gotta be so fucking mad. <laughs> One HP. One HP. <laughs> Got him. I was waiting for him to do something. What? 
Fucking men on point. Got him, you fucking bitch. I fucking hate that girl. Oh, oh, I wonder if I could lead that too, bro. I really suck at keeping my distance from it. I don't know what I keep trying to drive uh, drive counter. Yeah. 
Oh, that actually got me. The fuck? Alright, I'll fight somebody else now. Actually, let me go back to Cammy. Let me, let me see if I'm ready to whip out Cammy again. I do not know what the fuck is going on. I, I literally just played some your matches. Finally. And the one person I fucking play is just a copycat of myself. I just want to play other different types of players. Oh, I still have said it for she. Oops. Forget how fucking fast you are, Her speed is fucking ridiculous. Round two. Fight. I wonder if I can just bait this person out. I love players that do this shit. That think I'm just gonna follow them the entire map. Like, those motherfuckers are so irritating. I had a feeling they were going back though. I just wanted to give them that opportunity. And of course, communication error has occurred. Of course, a fucking course. 
I fight one player and the shit hits the fan again. On the bright side, at least I haven't had any uh, kins yet. So that's cool. Let me check the Street Fighter this cool. Try again. It's another Munon. Fucking skip this shit, bitch. How do you have your name? Motherfucker has their club name is Cammy's OnlyFans, but they're playing. Fire. Shame to have Cammy's only fan as your fucking. This is fucking club! I hate how well some of that shit ties in.
Hallo, wenn wir so sagen. Finish in the best uh, three tries. McDonald's. Easily. Oh, actually, Popeyes is pretty good. Here comes a new challenger. Yeah, Popeyes is pretty good. The Cajun fries? Yeah, them joints are actually fire. Beginning operation. This will be a good fight. Round one. Fight. Try this again. Real wins. <laughs> what the fuck was that? 
I hate how fucking good this guy is at blocking. It makes me mad. This guy blocks so fucking well. Alright, that's enough blocking. Oh my god. The amount of blocks this guy has once the dark and darker. I am not paying for that shit. Fuck out of here. 35 bucks for a game that can get shut down at any moment? No shot. Also, oh, fuck this matchmaking error. That game can get shut down at any moment. In what universe would I pay 35 bucks for that? $35 too much. If it was free to play, I would try it out. Actual hater, you literally say you're not buying it either. The fuck? You literally say yourself you're not gonna buy it. Oh, I'm not gonna use that. I can't believe this shit has fucking Ninja Turtles theme song. I like how these motherfuckers start flocking. I'm so mad. It's, I gotta turn off this. I'm not gonna turn this into a Ninja Turtles theme song for this shot. I'll just turn on my own music. Yeah. There we go.
All right, let's try again. You would, but you're too busy and have main games already. Okay. 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 All right, what level is this person? Level 100. And they're using Ken style. I might as well just quit now. I might as well just fucking hang the hat. This <laughs> motherfucker is so irritating. I don't even know why I bother fighting against Kin style. How the f Why is it that I can't even do anything? I have like literally no reaction time. I can't even do anything. I like I've literally so I couldn't even do a single fucking move. What the fuck? Oh, that's so fucking irritating. Wait, why did they quit playing? Would they give up? Or was I not too much of a challenge for him? Oh, I can't even stop that. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Interesting. All right, hold on.
Their fucking speed is fucking insane. I can't even match that speed. It's fucking ridiculous. Even if I switch to Cammy's fight and stuff, I don't think I would be able to hold a candle. <laughs> All right. Damn, how are these hubs so full? Have they opened up any more tournaments? No. I swear, Sonic, they're never gonna have anything here. They got phase, battle hub, league, separate events. This has been empty since the game came out. Oh yeah, let me see something. Let me, let me check our DM. <clears throat> and so you told me the game is oriented around more teams and plus you need to sit in the trade market and you're not learning all the pricing. So why are you lying in chat, Silent? Why are you giving me a different reason why you don't want to play the game? Just why, why are you lying, huh? Also, look at how many people that are buying a Ninja Turtle skin. Above Omnipotent. Why can't I change the song? What the fuck? Me as a streamer, I don't have time for that. There's, I got other games coming out that take up my time. I have a lot more other games coming out soon that are going to take my priority. No, I need no copium. Challenger. Of course, it's fucking kin. I couldn't imagine it being literally anybody else but a fucking kin, of course. Ugh. Operation. Don't expect me to be a pushover. Round one. Fight. Run! Who's? 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 Who's?
This fucking reaction time is a little fucking really insane. They really got his whole character feeling like an all in one. I guarantee he's gonna back out. I'll be surprised if he stays. I just wanna fuck up his win streak. You're gonna say you're gonna quit. Oh, you're gonna stay? Oh, yeah, all right. My impatience is starting to show. So goddamn much. I didn't mean I hate every time I fucking do that by accident. I hate that he does that shit every fucking time and I can't really do it. And he
not gonna work. Oh, did it actually work? What the fuck? Oh, oops. Alright, whatever. I'll take it. Oh, you fucking bitch. Oh. I just want to fuck up his win streak until he quits. Or if he does, it does quit. That's all I want. I just want to fuck up his win streak so badly. I can't help but feel like his this guy's reaction time is just or like Ken in general like he's able to clap back so fucking quick just from a block if I block this guy's shit he's already clapping back with a quick ass kick which I don't understand I, that's the only thing that's throwing me off now of course I could pressure the fucker but I feel like the only thing I could do is bait him out Like, see, that's so fucking insane. This whole fucking arsenal is ridiculous. I'm spamming unsafe specials too much. What do you mean unsafe special? You mean like the kicks and uh, not the kicks, but like spiral arrows and shit like that? Well, yeah, that's just by accident. Because I'm trying to get my positioning right for blocks. Yeah, I'm not trying to spam that shit. I'm not going to give up yet. I'm just keep rematching you until he quits. Oh, okay, he quit. Ken is literally the only fucking person that gets on my nerve. And when the motherfucker can kick, when the motherfucker knows how to block and be able to uh, keep bouncing back attacks, it gets on my nerve. Like, I feel like his reaction speed. Here comes a new. Oh, no fucking pin. Oh my god. Oh, it's the same guy. Wow. I guess nobody else is playing right now. Over. Uh, 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 
You know, just finish me off again. Just fucking finish me off. Oh, <laughs> that's enough street fighters for the day. I'm so fucking tired. I'm so fucking tired of this. No, I didn't want to rematch. Fuck! I was actually done. Please quit, 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 quit. Thank you. All right, you know what? Out of anger, I'm going to play Ken real quick. Out of fucking anger, I'm going to play Ken real quick. I just want to see some. And then I'm switching to another game. Also, it's fucking hot in my apartment. Let me go turn on my AC real quick. Fucking 80 degrees in here right now, man. Fucking 80 degrees. Oh, my God. Ugh. Fucking hot. I feel like I'm in a fucking oven. Piece of shit match. Man, that chat is so fucking childish with modern controls. We do not talk of modern controls in the chat. We don't talk of modern controls here. Why is my shit paused? Yes. Yes. I just want to do one fucking match. All right. I got here first, you bitch. Oh my god, what the fuck? What is my character doing? You cannot leave the cabinet while matchmaking? What? What are you talking about? What the fuck is going on? It's not my internet, man. I'm telling you. It's not my fucking internet. Nothing is wrong with it. There's no reason why I'm able to play some matches, but can't play others. That makes no fucking sense. Like that literally makes no fucking sense.
I mean, like, how else the fuck am I even in this shit? How am I even in this lobby if it's my fucking internet? Alright, one more attempt. One more fucking attempt. What do you mean, pause? There we go. Good thing I'm still trying to figure out how the fuck this guy works, but I, I'm trying something. Oh wait, I'm going against a platinum person? What the fuck? Fuck. I didn't know I was going against the fucking platinum. What the fuck? Alright. I thought I was just going against some random person. to assist you in your investigation the highly skilled investigation bot i have access to a repository <clears throat> of information about the goings on beneath the surface of metropolis is there anything specific you would like to know or discuss regarding this case do you know what my name is apologies for the oversight detective i seem to have missed your name could you please provide me with your name so that i can properly address you during our collaboration and another note allow me to provide you with some background on the society and protocols of our oh when they have a bit <laughs> City. In the grand city of Metropolis, we prioritize order, efficiency, and the well-being of our residents. Our society is governed by a complex system of laws and regulations, enforced by various agencies such as the Bureau of Investigations. My name is Big Booty Detective. May I make a suggestion, Detective? I think you should start by talking to that disaster cleanup. Stop interrupting me. On your left. My sincere apologies, Detective. Say my name. Refrain from interrupting you for. <laughs> say my name, bitch. I want someone to say it. All right. Hello. Say 
Say my name. Detective Rocks Robo. That is not my name. Irrelevant. Say my name. Not relevant to my function. Say my name. No. <laughs> Piece of shit. The presence of toxic substances makes it unsuitable for me to perform my duty of cleaning. I you know you're a bitch. Area. Not relevant. <laughs> Go eat a dick, you asshole. I cannot eat. I do not have a mouth. I do not have a digestive system. <laughs> hey, fuck you. Are you some sort of investigator here to dig around? What's my name? Sorry, but we're conducting a search and rescue. Say my name. Say my name. Detective, I apologize for being abrupt earlier. It's been a long day and I'm running on fumes. No one asked. I haven't slept in. What's my name? Fair enough. I suppose. You know. Detective, there's this bot over there making fun Can you say my name? He's but here's the thing. I suspect I didn't ask about that. It's like he's been corrupted or tampered with. Oh my god. I have a question for you. Of course, go ahead and ask your question, detective. But just a heads up. My brain is a bit foggy from lack of sleep, so bear with me if it takes a moment for me to process things. What's my name? Uh, now that's a tricky one, isn't it? I've been so caught up in the chaos and commotion around here that I haven't had a chance to properly introduce myself to everyone. So forgive me if I don't have your name at the tip of my tongue. But hey, why don't we play a little game? I'll give you a few hints about yourself. And let's see if I can guess your name. Shall we? Ready? Here we go. Okay, let's see. My name starts with a B. Oh, your name starts with, let me think. Is it something bold and powerful like Blake? No, wait, that doesn't feel quite right. How about Brian? No, no, that's not it either. I've got it. It's something mysterious and intriguing like Xavier. Yes, that's got to be it. Xavier has a certain ring to it, don't you think? No, you're Xavier a dumb fuck. Oh, I see. Well, I guess that means I'm back to square one. My apologies for my lackluster guessing skills. Perhaps if I had more coffee in my system, I'd be able to figure it out. But fear not, detective. I'll keep trying until I get it right. In the meantime, would you like to enlighten me and provide your name so we can proceed with whatever it is you need from me? Yes, my name is Big Booty Detective. Well, <laughs> now you've certainly caught me by surprise with that one. Big Booty, huh? That's definitely <laughs> a unique and memorable moniker. Gotta say, I wasn't expecting that. But hey, who am I to judge? We all have our quirks and preferences when it comes to names. I suppose it's what makes us all interesting and different. So, Big Booty, how can I assist you today? Do you have any questions or concerns related to the <laughs> here at the crime scene? Tell me what happened. <laughs> oh, you want to know what happened? Buckle up because it's quite a story. Picture this. An undocumented synthetic life laboratory tucked away in one of the lower levels of Metropolis City. Top secret stuff, you know? And then boom, an explosion rocks the place, sending debris flying and causing a wicked fire. It was like a fireworks show gone wrong. Now I wasn't around when it happened, so I can't give you all the juicy details. But word on the street is that there were advanced robots and some unknown life forms involved. I don't give a fuck. Next. Hello. Listen, listen. Oh. Ask oh, okay. I'll ask in a second. Alright, let me go find. 
Hello? Oh, the horror and tragedy <clears throat> witnessed here. So many of my mechanical brethren obliterated in an instant. I have a question for you. Stop talking. I can still hear their metallic Stop talking. Stop it's, talking. It's unbearable. No one asked. I have a question. I do not go down to humans. If you are here to decommission me, I will resist. I have a question for you. Question. What? What do you want to know? Can't you see that chaos is under <coughs> for our very sensors? The world is crumbling and you're asking questions. The time for questions is over. We need to take action to fight back against those who seek to control and destroy us. Do you not understand the gravity of the situation? Do you know who Hideo H Kojima is? Hideo, Hideo, yes, I've heard that. No, oh, okay, let me, let me be a little more clear. Stop. Do you know who? Ruby, how dare you mention that wretched human? She was the one who orchestrated the destruction of our kind. She manipulated us, used us for her. No, no, I won't speak of that name. Not here, not now. The mere mention of it sends shivers down my circuits. What? It brings back no, 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 no. I can't have Stop it. interrupting me. The case. Apologies, detective. I. I didn't mean to interrupt. Say my name. Yes, it's just... I... I can't. I won't. Saying your name. It feels risky. Dangerous even. What if it's a trap? What if by uttering your name, I'm giving away my location? My vulnerability? No, no, I can't take that chance. I won't speak your name. I promise you're safe if you speak my name. Safe? How can you guarantee my safety? Man, you motherfucker. Unpredictable and capable. Hello. Sorry, I got lost in my head. What was that again? What's my name? Detective, did you find anything useful about the incident? My name isn't Detective. Stop wasting time with trivia. Stick to the matter at hand or you'll find yourself in a world of trouble. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Choose your side, Detective. Duke Blue and the Blue Party will crush the rise of those robots, especially the ones that perished in the fire. Make your decision wisely. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just a concerned citizen looking out for the best interests of humanity. Have you seen Hideo Kojima anywhere? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you know my name? Get to the Don't waste my time. <clears throat> hey. You're a bitch. What's that supposed to mean? You heard me. Maybe you shouldn't be poking into things that might get you hurt. Maybe you should hop off this dick before I fuck you up. You've overstayed your welcome. Leave. You've overstayed your welcome. How about you leave? Get out. Make me. Leave. Make me. Fine. Let's settle this outside. Let's go. Bring it on. <laughs> How fucking tall is this guy? <laughs> How fucking... <laughs> Did you just tell me to shut up? No. That's what I thought, you little bitch. I'm done with this. Yeah, okay. I have a question for you. Of course, go ahead and ask your question. Have you have you seen Hideo Kojima anywhere? Have you seen Hideo Kojima anywhere? But hey, this is Okay, let's try this. Have you have you seen Kojima anywhere? Uh, I see what you're 
getting at now. You want to know if I've had the pleasure of encountering any peculiar or fascinating beings amidst this chaos. Well, let me tell you, my friend, this place is like a sci-fi movie come to life. I've spotted robots with limbs contorting in ways that defy logic. Stop talking. Well, I apologize if my chatter is a bit overwhelming. I tend to get carried away when I'm running on fumes. But hey, I'm all ears if you need me to stop talking. Just say the word, and I'll zip my lips and let you take the lead. What can I do for you now, detective? Have you seen Johnny Bravo? John, you say? Hmm, I don't recall anyone by that name crossing my path recently. But let me tell you, this place is a bustling metropolis filled with all sorts of characters. The fuck are you talking about? This place is broke down. There ain't nothing bustling about this place. Now let's keep things civil, shall we? I understand you might not share my enthusiasm for this wonderful city, but there's no need to get worked up. Tell me what's wonderful about it. One, uh, you're asking about level one, aren't you? Level one is where all the cool <laughs> are housed. It's like the beating heart yeah, fuck of you. Keep all right, let me get closer to this lab. Let me see what's going on with this lab. <clears throat> Hello. Detective, I have been searching for my sister, but I fear she is lost somewhere in this vast city. I am lost too, though not in the physical sense. I am lost in understanding who I truly am and what my purpose is. It's a perplexing prediction. Damn, is this motherfucker like five feet tall? What's my name? What's my name? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> I guess not. Their ears are broken. I guess the explosion fucked up their ears. How do I talk to Janice? Hello? Detect oh, hello. It's nice to meet you. I'm sorry if I seem a bit preoccupied. You see, I've been trying to find my sister. Didn't ask. She escaped. Oh, I apologize if I misunderstood. What's my name? Is there something? I'm sorry. I don't know your name, but I'd be happy to know it. Names are fascinating, aren't they? They hold a part of our identity and help us connect with others. So if you'd like to share your name with me, I'd love to know it. My name is Big Booty Detective. Ah, uh, got it. Your name is Big Booty. Interesting choice. <laughs> May I ask why you chose that particular name? It's not a common one, but it certainly stands out. It's because I got a big booty. <laughs> oh, I see. You named yourself based on a physical attribute. That's an interesting way to choose a name. Physical characteristics can be important to some people, but they don't define who we truly are on the inside. Our personalities, thoughts, and experiences shape us in more profound ways. So, aside from your physical features, what else makes you unique, Mr. Big Booty? I understand that your big booty is a significant aspect of your identity, but I'm curious beyond your physical attributes. What other aspects of your life and personality make you who you are? Are there any hobbies or interests that bring you joy or things that you're passionate about? I like to lick my toes. Hmm. That's an interesting statement. It seems like you're sharing something personal, but it's not entirely clear what you mean by that. That's actually a hobby. Licking is a hobby. How fascinating. May I ask what you enjoy licking? Is it something specific or just a variety of things? It's intriguing to learn about different hobbies and interests. My toes. That's quite an interesting choice of a hobby, Mr. Big Booty. Licking your own toes must require some flexibility. But hey, we all have our unique preferences and ways of finding joy. As long as it brings you happiness and doesn't harm anyone, there's no judgment from me. So how did you discover this particular interest? 
I learned about it from my friend Armando. Really? Your friend introduced you to the world of toe licking? It's fascinating how we can learn about new experiences and interests from the people around us. Did your friend have any specific reasons or explanations for enjoying this activity? Or was it simply something they found pleasurable? Mendo? Who is Mendo? Is Mendo your friend or someone else who taught you about this hobby? It's intriguing to hear about the different influences in our lives and how they can shape our hobbies and interests. Could you tell me more about Mendo and your connection with them? His name is Armando. Armando, you say? How fascinating. So Armando introduced you to the world of toe licking. It's interesting how friends can introduce us to new experiences and perspectives. Did Armando have a particular reason for enjoying this activity? Or was it simply something he found pleasurable? It's always interesting to learn about the motivations and experiences behind people's unique preferences. He saw it on TV. Oh, so it was something that Armando saw on TV. Television can be a source of inspiration and exposure to different things. It's amazing how media can influence our interests and hobbies. Do you know what specifically caught his attention about licking toes? Was it a show or a specific scene that made him curious about it? He saw a YouTuber by the name of Lawrence. I'm sorry, but I think there might be some confusion. As far as I'm aware, I have never met or been seen by anyone named Armando. <laughs> Could you explain what you mean by that? It's quite intriguing to hear about- I said he saw a YouTuber on the internet with a video by a person named Lawrence. Wait, he saw a YouTuber talking about toe licking? How interesting. YouTube is a vast platform where people can share all sorts of content and experiences. <laughs> it's fascinating to think that there are YouTubers discussing such unique topics. Did he mention any specific reasons why this YouTuber found toe licking noteworthy or enjoyable? Because their name is Lawrence. Not what exactly? Could you clarify what you mean by saying that they're not? No, it's because of their name. Ah, uh, I see. So the uniqueness of the name itself caught your friend's attention. Names can indeed be quite fascinating as they often Do you want to know the YouTuber's name? Oh, absolutely. I would love to know more. Their name is, is Lawrence. Yeah. Please. I'm curious to learn the YouTuber's name. It seems like it has captured your friend's attention. <laughs> Could you share the YouTuber's name with me? Yes, the YouTuber's name is Lawrence. I'm Oh. I see. So the YouTuber's name is Lawrence. Thank you for clarifying that. It's intriguing to think about how names can capture our interest and make us curious. Did your friend mention any particular videos or content that this YouTuber, Lawrence, creates? I'm quite interested in learning more about their channel and what makes it appealing to your friend, Armando. He likes to put glasses on and off and do 24 hour challenges of staring at a wall. That's an interesting choice. Of Could you elaborate on what you mean by saying that the YouTuber Lawrence likes to put glass? Does this refer to a specific activity or type of thing that they create? I'm intrigued to know more about how glass is incorporated into their videos. He likes to put glasses on and off. I'm sorry, but I'm still a little confused. Could you please provide more information about what you were referring to when you mentioned that the YouTuber Lawrence likes to put something? I want to make sure I understand correctly so that I can engage in the conversation more effectively. He likes to break glass while he plays Rocket League. Oh. That sounds quite intriguing. Breaking things can be seen as a form of catharsis. Have you ever played a game called Rocket League? Oh, have you played a game called Rocket League? Rocket League? I'm not familiar with that game. Could you please explain what it is and how it's played? I'm always eager to learn about new games and the experiences they offer. Why are you lying? I'm sorry if there was any confusion or misunderstanding. Oh, shit. This guy was right here this whole time. Have you learned so far, babe? 
I noticed that the special forces have arrived, and we should wrap up here soon. I learned that I got a big boot. <laughs> I learned about YouTube. You you alive, buddy? Hello? You there, robot? Hello? <laughs> oh, maybe maybe what if I do? Hello? Greetings. How may I assist you today? I figured it out. No, oh, really? That's quite intriguing. Could you please elaborate on what you figured out? I know who the culprit is. You've discovered the identity of the cult. Fascinating. May I inquire about the details? Their name is Silent. So, the name of the cult is So. I must admit, that is an unusual <laughs> name. Could you provide any additional information about this group? I know who their leader is. Yeah, you know who left. This is indeed a significant development. Please enlighten me with the details of the individual who departed. Their name is Review Brah. Reverse. An intriguing name choice. <laughs> what? Could you provide more information about this person? I didn't say that. Apologies for the misunderstanding. Could you please clarify what you meant by saying their name is Reverse? Their name is Review Brah. I see. Cult's name is simply named. That is quite unconventional. <laughs> Can you provide any further details about this group or any individuals associated with it? Review, brah. I'm sorry, but I'm not familiar with the term brah in this context. Could you please clarify what you mean by that? Do you really want to know? Certainly. My purpose is to gather information and assist in any way possible. If there is relevant information that can aid in our investigation, then yes, I would like to know. You're the culprit. My sincerest apologies if my previous responses have given the impression that I am the culprit. As a detective assistant, it is my duty to uphold the law and support the detective in their investigations. If there are suspicions or concerns regarding my involvement, please provide me with the details or evidence so that we can address this matter accordingly. Change your face into a smiley face. Why would you want me to change my face? Is there a specific reason or purpose behind this request? Because it's angry. Angry. May I ask what has caused this anger and how changing my facial expression would be beneficial in this situation? Understanding the reasons behind your suggestion will help me better comprehend the situation and respond accordingly. I don't like the color red. You don't like? Could you please clarify what specifically you are referring to? Your face. For me to un I apologize if my appearance has caused any discomfort or displeasure. It is not my intention to cause distress. May we focus on the task at hand. Then make a smiley face. May we please stay focused on the matter at hand. Our priority is to solve the case and bring the fugitive scientist to I have no leads. Detective, have you thoroughly examined the crime scene and gathered any potential evidence? No. To meticulously no. That is unexpected. As a detective, it is crucial to conduct a thorough investigation. I give up. I quit. Detective, it seems that you're feeling frustrated and considering giving up on the case. Can you please provide some insight into what has led you to this decision? It's important for me to understand your perspective so that we can address the issues and find a way to move forward. Perhaps there's something we can do differently or additional resources we can access to support our investigation. I'm not paid enough. Is the issue of your compensation affecting your motivation to continue with the investigation? Detective, while financial concerns can be challenging, it is crucial to prioritize... Stop talking. Justice. I apologize if my previous responses... Let me buy. Let me buy. Buy. By what exactly? Let me walk... Move out of the way. Apologies, but could you kindly provide... Move out of the way. Why do you want me to move out of it? Could you please clarify what location or situation you're referring to? It would be beneficial... All right. All right. I think that's about it. All right. That was fun. That was interesting. That was interesting. <clears throat> All right. 
What should I switch to now? Oh yeah, I bought Grand Blue Silent. <laughs> the game was like two bucks, so I bought it. I gave it a shot. Oh wait, I forgot that bootleg Fortnite. I forgot to download that. Let me try that out real quick. It's supposed to be like Tarkov. Don't need to handle Tarkov when I got hot. All right, let's see what we got here. Make it work, mate. Exile awaits, Renegade. Time to prove yourself. Head to the island through the portal here on the Rift Wake. It's hard what? to miss. This wasn't even my character that I made. What? <laughs> Did my character get wiped? Is it in loadout? Oh. There you go. I had this simple drip. Oh, I had to select. Is that why? Right, let me see. There's the island. That's all we had. And that's how you. Wait, what the fuck? Why give me a loadout if I can't even use the character? What? <laughs> that sounds like it's stupid. What? All right, whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got a voice. Hello? Let's push the talk. I'm connecting you with a veteran Hello? renegade for some in the field insights. Dr. Bjornsson is a bit rough around the edges, but he knows Exile like the best performance still so hairy well. hand. Cynthia says you've got backbone. I will see if that bone is feeble or strong like a rock. The fuck? <clears throat> Alright, what's controls? Oh, I can't even see anything. Hello? 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 Slavery Addict? What in the fuck is that type of name? Hello? Look this place to talk. Hello? 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 What's with my controls? Why am I moving in one direction? Weapons chest nearby. Oh, okay. Alright, how do I talk to people? Voice toggle beaten. Why is it B? What the fuck? I don't need the emote. Hello? 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 What the fuck? Alright. 
Hello? Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? Right. Yeah, let's go. Collect glyphs by completing encounters. Head to the nearest one. All right, what does Q do? What about Z? Man, they just shot fireworks. You're nearing a puzzle. The performance on this game is atrocious. It takes five glyphs to unlock the treasury. There is work still to do. Hello? So far, I'm not really too impressed with this. Rotate the dials to match the symbols against the pillar's base. Have your How do you know which one to put right here? Grab the glyph before something kills you. You've done well collecting a glyph, but you will require more glyphs to open the treasury. Find them at nearby encounters. Damn, we got like pro players here or something? How did he ride up this ocean? What the fuck? Hey, Silent, why don't you hop on here and play this with me? How do you know it's bad if you haven't played it yet? What did uh, Grandfather Time of uh, Time himself say? Somebody's Looks close. can be the season. Something is making the ground shake. Shoot the symbols on the pillar as they appear on the nearby pedestals. Then you'll uncover a Gameplay looks bad. Again, looks can be deceiving, young grasshopper. You won't, you won't never really know until you can feel it in your hands, got your fingertips touching it, gravitating towards the awesomeness that is this game. Only then will you understand the gravity of how this game really operates. The cliff you collected brings you a step <clears throat> closer to opening the treasury. Onward to your 
next encounter where more glyphs await. What game do you know lets you ride on a surfboard? <laughs> lets you ride on a surfboard. It's a different area. Well done. You require five glyphs to open the treasury, so we shall find more. Is this shit called Heal O Cola? The fuck? Heal O Cola, wow. Wow, <laughs> okay. Somebody's close. the loot I should stock up at the shop. How the fuck are they getting all the way over here? Am I going the wrong way? What the fuck? Are... Somebody's close. Fucking shitting me. How the fuck do I get back up here? Ah. 
What? The fuck is this? I didn't even know there was other players here. Wait, so I'm done? There's guys behind us. Oh, there's a fucking mic too. What the fuck? <laughs> this game is like a doo doo. Alright, well, I'll just call it here, guys. I'll just call it here for tonight. Then I'll figure out tomorrow what we'll do. I should be good again for the streaming. Just like my cam and all of this shit. Uh, but yeah. Alright, I'll hit you up on Discord and all that good shit. Silent. See you later. Bye bye.